Alright guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. Adan. And we're Break Room Blitz, baby. Yeah. So as you can see, it's our, with our DC attire. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Just, even though I don't have her on there, huh? But, that we just weird. saw... Would it be weird to have like a female leg right here? Yeah. We just saw Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> just saw Wonder Woman. And, wow. Uh, you yeah. know what? I was actually presently surprised. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think you guys would be too. Because we didn't know where DC was going. I'm like, just scrap this whole new 52 right. installment that we got going on and just reboot it. You can have the same characters, same yeah, actors, sure. but different story because this isn't working. Yeah, these story arcs are getting way too confusing. But now, they've kind of redeemed themselves with this Wonder Woman. And you know what? The Wonder Woman... Uh, animated movie. Did you see the animated movie? Uh, no. It was actually one of my favorites. So, I can kind of see how this is, you know, uh, also another great movie. Um, so, what are, you, what are you thinking about this? We, uh, I definitely did like it. Like, DC redeemed themselves with this one movie here. Because Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman, I was not having it. I did like Man of Steel, though. Yeah, but that we didn't—they didn't know where they were going yet. They weren't trying to like really introduce everything. They weren't like. Well, that's the thing. As far as like introducing the characters, or at least the actors to the universe, was cool. And I felt like if they did Wonder Woman after Man of Steel, that would have been dope. Yes, like normal studios. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like no, everyone, everyone. Right. <laughs> this is great. Let's get that money. <laughs> right. So we got Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Gorgeous. You know what? I was starting to kind of fall for her. As I'm, she is pretty though. I'm like, man. As I keep looking at you, like I don't, I can't. I got feelings. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need to stalk her. <laughs> um, we got Chris Pine. Everyone is Star loving Trek. Chris Pine right now. Yeah. Um, we got uh, or Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. Uh, that's the I guess the love interest. Right. Spy. The, yeah. Right. Uh, Danny Houston. Which is going to be our villain here, mm -hmm. our main villain, um, our German villain. I wonder, is that why people don't like America? Because we're making movies with every Still other Nazis. country oh. is just like the bad guys. Uh, I'm like, I wonder how, how do they mm. feel about that if they were to watch the movie? It's I always like, think of Hey, that's movies. history, yo. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you shouldn't have messed up. Right. You shouldn't have messed up. I don't see a Soviet <laughs> Superman. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But he's our, our, our German villain. And then we have Elena Ayana uh, as our evil doctor. Right. Um, doctor Evil. Ooh. I would say, honestly, they did a great job as far as like portraying women in a, a strong manner. Oh, totally. The Amazonian women? I was like, wow. I was they impressed. They were dope. I was totally impressed. They were like super... Sarah Connors. Yes. Everyone was ripped. Yeah. Every single one of them was just like, had like right. their leadership role. Like, was like, like they grew up as an Amazonian, <laughs> like a warrior. Absolutely. Man. I, 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 and you know what? I also like they had some black women in there. And oh, not yeah. just in the background. No. They actually had some lines. Front and center. And then one like, was a senator. A uh, senator, a uh, uh, teacher, and I was uh, like, what? generals or whatever, you know? Because I wasn't expecting yeah. any black people in the movie. So, right. I did appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so, I just want to throw that in there real quick. Um, so, what do you think about this Wonder Woman? I like, I, is she the real deal here? You know what? She did it for me, man. Like, uh, aside from her being completely gorgeous, I mean, her acting was actually really good. Yeah, it um, was. She it was. Re really portrayed her really well. Uh, her accent didn't really take anything away. If anything, it gave her more of a personality for me and like just gave it more like authenticity to and it separated her from the rest of the amazonians which they oh, kept yeah. saying you're different from us you're not the same as us right so it actually it's it stood out yeah it, it wasn't just i like, just wrote that i was like yeah she yeah. is a little different than them i could tell she kind of worked out for this role too because like i i saw the other fast and furious movie and she she, she was a little you know slim uh, but in this one, you know, I don't know if it was CG or anything, but it definitely looked like... I don't remember her in Fast it. and Furious. All I know her from is <laughs> Batman vs. Superman. Oh, yeah. So, but you know what? This is why this movie should have been first. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm all over the place. But I feel like this movie should have been first. Right. Because it explains to me why she was the way she was in Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman, she was pretty much just having fun when she was dealing with uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. 
And I'm like, why are you, why are you smiling? Why are you not taking it serious? Yeah, she's like, this and is cake work, man. This is her. <laughs> like, this is her. Like, when she finds out that she has these abilities, she's like, oh shit. Oh yeah. Like, I can jump this high. I can. I'm this strong. Yeah. So they show you this in this origin story, right. and which explains why she was the way she was. At least for me, maybe no one else cared, but yeah. at least for me, in the Batman vs Superman. Yeah, she definitely had like a Spider-Man Superman moment where they realized their power. You know. Right. And she's just kind of getting into her own, you know? So right. I appreciated that. It was dope. When she's climbing that wall. Oh, yeah. And she puts her hands in the wall. She's like, oh, snap. I got this. Yeah. And then she's just like digging into the wall to climb up. Yeah. I thought that was great. It, it showed her growth yeah. as a character. I believed her athleticism. Right. It wasn't she was like, I'm just a strong person from the get-go. She yeah. actually saw her progress and actually acclimate her strength. And her ability, her ability. So I did like that. Right. I love character growth. Don't just show me yeah. the strong character that can just kill everyone. Right. I want to see the growth. Yeah. Like, how did you get there? Yeah. And we got to see that. It was a great origin. And it wasn't like she was a kid forever. No, and that's the other thing, though, because when she was a kid, uh, whatever little girl actor that was at the very beginning, she was adorable, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I just liked that. It was it was fun, you know? Right, right, um, right. And so, like, you know, they showed her as a teenager and then growing up into an adult, and I, I just appreciate every single one of those phases. Yeah, what do you think about the CGI? Uh, the CGI, it was pretty dope. I mean, it, it, was, it was cool, all the bullet shots and everything, and just, like... The blast she was doing, I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah, I didn't think. I thought they were gonna kind of overdo it. Yeah. Um, just because I knew they were gonna have the Amazonians and then we got mm -hmm. Ares. I'm like, okay, it's gonna be a bunch of CGI, which it was, but there was enough like real live action yeah. to kind of complement it. They kind of switched back and forth. Like she just wasn't all CGI. No, absolutely not. You know, so I, I really appreciated that. I loved all the little uh, acrobatics off the horses they were doing. Yes. The first fight scene was just dope. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they're swinging off this rock with the bow and arrow. Yeah. And I'm like, I wish Contra was here because I'm pretty sure he would appreciate <laughs> It was more slow archery. than anything to capture that, you know? And then, like, um, she did have a moment that kind of reminded me of uh, when Ben Affleck was in Batman vs. Superman taking out all those guys that they showed in the trailers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. she had kind of, like, that moment where she was just, like, pff, wrecking. And... Does Wonder Woman kill people? Because I feel like she was stabbing people. She with the took sword. out a sniper in a building, so yeah. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, everyone's killing. Batman's killing people. Superman even kills someone. Now Wonder Woman. We're just like throwing out all the rules here. Can we just say that she's saving people for sure, though? Uh, I mean, she's still killing people to save people, though. That's right. That's kind of not. That's goes against the rules a little bit. It's war. All right. <laughs> She's an Amazonian. She has I a agree, sword. but that was a, a, a big thing with people were like, "Oh, what? Uh, Batman is sh has guns and shooting people." All right, man, he's in the Middle East, man. Yeah, like shit got to get done. He got to get back. I home. mean, I will totally admit that I was totally against that, um, especially <sighs> Superman when Superman broke Zod's neck. I, I was like, it. "What?" Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> but you know, circumstance, man. They're, and you know what? They're changing those characters. Right, which I can kind of appreciate because it's just not 1950s anymore. Right. You know, everything is not so flush and beat around the bush and sugar coating. It's a little bit more gritty. We're real getting world. into the real world. Yeah. Like, that's, this is what happened. And it's a Zack Snyder style movie where, you know, if you remember watching Watchmen or you know, if you haven't, I highly recommend it. That's like a rated R superhero is movie. Is it Zack Snyder? The Haley? Yep. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, man. I did not know Zach that. Zack Snyder, bro. I didn't know. Yeah. Good job. He yeah. did a good job. Absolutely. I, he redeemed the franchise. Yeah. I still think they should wipe out everything that came before it. Uh, except for Man of Steel. And redo it. I, don't count, I just don't count Man of Steel. It's an origin story, so. I, I, I think that's just, like, that's just like Superman on his own one-off one, one -off movie. Yeah. And then we should just redo Batman vs. Superman and Suicide Squad. Just redo it. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I think they're too far in deep with it. Um, I know, but still. Because then you got Marvel's like, why are you guys rebooting your own franchise? Don't worry about that. Don't like... worry about <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's how you got into the mess now. You're trying to worry about what other people are doing That's and right. what they think. Yeah. Like, don't worry about what Marvel's doing and what they think. Do your thing right. Do you, boo? Right. <laughs> and you know what else I liked about this movie? 
which is my issue with Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I like that when it was time to fight, when it was time to go to war, we actually saw the intensity of the scene. It was very intense. Uh, when she stepped uh, to the front line, and we got that in the trailer too. Oh, it was on. Right. She didn't tell any, any joke before she went into battle. She's like, why are you guys going? Let's go. Right. You know, and they're like, what are you doing? Like, right. We can't back. go right now. We got to leave. There was she, a sense of... She just turns her back panic. on them and just goes into the, 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 the front lines. Oh, yeah. She's like, Psh, fuck y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Dope. Bing, bing, bing. And it wasn't any joking in between the fighting. They fought. They got where they had to go. Right. They they made their 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 goal. Right. And then they had some humor on the downtimes. Right. And once it was all said and done, but in the battle, no one was smiling. I was like, ha, ha, I got this. Right. You know. There's no. I know him. <laughs> we work together. No. Oh, man. I don't want to see that. Yeah. I want you to be like, shit. This. This is World War Two, yo. Right. I, I want. That's what. That's my issue with Marvel is that I can never like get into the action that much. It's always just jokes, jokes, and jokes. And I'm like, okay, but I really want to see an intense scene. Yeah. So I appreciate this movie for that. Yeah. It really seemed like she was in getting she, shot at. She was in that role. Yeah. Now, I will say that when we didn't have those high intense action scenes. For me, there was a little bit of downtime. Like, it did slow down a little bit. It did slow down a little bit, you know. But I think for people who are more intellectual, I think they're going to be able to appreciate that, appreciate those moments. For me, I just want to see action from (laughs) my superheroes. A little bit of story, but mostly just action. So I do agree with you. There is some slow times. I was like, hmm, I think if I was to rewatch this again, I might fast forward this part. But... I don't know. I mean, I thought it was great for a first time view. Yes. In a theater. Yes. Immersed in this, you know, timepiece pretty much. Right. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was, honestly, I thought it was, as far as a timepiece, I thought it was better than Captain America 1. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It beats that hands down. Hands down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I did, a, I, I appreciated it. Now, the rewatch value, I don't know. I'll have to see. I, I, you know what? I'll easily say this is a rewatchable movie for me. Like, I'll definitely rewatch it. I have no problems with it. This is like one of my favorite. But would DC you like movies. it as much the second time as the first? That's what I'm saying. Like the rewatch value. Right. I think uh, you know the first time you watch a movie, at least for me, I try to take in as much as possible. And then the second time, I always tend to catch something that I miss, like in the background or whatever it is, you know, mm. Easter egg. Right. And right. then I appreciate it that much more. So, yeah, it's worth it. Especially if there's, like, director's cut. All right, so what about these villains? Yeah. These villains. She's fighting Ares. She's talking about Ares. They, they bring her up. They tell her all these, these I guess, folk tales. They're not folk tales, but to her... They're real. They're, you know, this is, this is real life. So she's always bringing up Aries, Aries this, and Aries that. Right. Did it, when we got to meet Aries, was it what you thought it would? For me, I did appreciate what they did with Aries' character. Um, it was a surprise for me. But um, I would have wanted a little bit more screen time for it. But I understand why they couldn't. Because the movie was long enough, as is. But for what they gave us for Aries, it was totally worth it. And, you know, I just wanted it a little bit more. But I'm cool with what they gave me. Really? I actually thought that the screen time was great. It was just enough for that, that character. Because we actually got to see him yeah. evolve, too. That's you true. Know? Yeah. He went from like this ghost type of figure. He's disappearing everywhere. And then all of a sudden, he has his armor. Like He progressed during the fight as well. So I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I would definitely watch the movie again for that fight scene. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a fight scene that we were we've been looking for for the past two DC movies. Yeah, as far as like <laughs> God versus demigod goes, ah, it's everything that I wanted. Right, you know. So it's like with the Suicide Squad, you know, that fight was just kind of kind of whack. I did like the um, Diablo character on <laughs> yeah, that one though. Right, but that was like <laughs> thirty seconds, and then it was right. over. Yeah, you know. So as far as the main villain, it didn't really do it for me. Um, Batman vs Superman, 
Save Martha! <laughs> what? Yeah. Why'd you say that? Yeah. I'd have stabbed him. <laughs> What'd you say about my mama? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I didn't, it didn't do it for me. But this one, I thought it would, they did a good job as far as the villain um, <clears throat> antagonist, or like Conch was saying. Um, Here are the villain complex. Here are the villain complex. I thought it was pretty good. Right. Um, and then they were Nazis, you know, so it was pretty brutal. Yeah, absolutely. I thought they did a great job. I know some people could smash them for being so, like, dark, as far as DC goes. Yeah. But I'm like, that's, that's real world. Yeah, it's like they're bridging real world events with the human world. So what, And that funny lady, I don't know her, she's not on the list, but... Um, there's a funny character in there. His secretary. The secretary. Great. She was good. Her um, timing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. She as was far as the jokes. Pretty funny. She was good. Her eye rolls. Right. Like how she would kind of like mutter some words out. You like you knew what she was like. Mm. Right. I don't know about that. Like she like it was great. Yeah, I definitely appreciated her character. Yeah, she was needed. Even uh, Chris Pine was pretty funny too. Because it kind of gives you a difference <laughs> of. Uh, uh, the Amazonian world where, you know, it's just, like, all women, and then how women are treated in, like, this man-ran kind of world, you know, in the right. World War II era. Right. And it's just a contrast, like, oh, I'd like to go where you come from, you know, kind of thing. Right. Now, are we seeing part two if it comes out? De definitely. I'll definitely watch part two. Yeah. I think they should do part two before they give me Justice League because I'm feeling like <laughs> it be another, it's going to be another disappointment. But I think uh, you never know. The problem with DC is they're trying to rush everything all at once. <sighs> There's no need to rush, man. When, yeah. when it comes to billions of dollars at stake, man, no need to rush. Yeah. Like, it's going to happen. We're going to go see these movies. Right. So you might as well make it good. Right. Like, I would have uh, wanted to see a uh, Aquaman and Flash movie before I went to go see Justice League, but yeah. it's not going to happen. I actually don't care about Aquaman, but maybe because they have so many jokes about him that I just don't res I don't respect Aquaman. No one does. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks kind of cool, though. Uh, I would definitely go see part two if they come out with part two. Um, so that's how good it was. Yeah. Like, it was great. You guys are going to enjoy it. I would say go see it right now. Highly this weekend. recommend it. There's take, a movie take you your go boo see. out. Yeah. Go see this movie. Yeah. Um, what are you rating it, though? Ah, man. You know, I appreciate a lot of things they did with the movie. If I have to rate it one out of ten, it's going to get a nine out of it. Mm. She is gorgeous. <laughs> and I love everything they did with this movie. A little slow at times, and I could have wanted a little bit more, uh, I don't know, fight sequences with the main villain, Ares, but uh, I love what they did anyway. It, it was nearly perfect. So, a nine? Yeah, nine. All right. Um, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I agree with you. There were some slow parts that I feel like I would probably want to fast forward during a rewatch, mm -hmm. like a second viewing of it. Um, but I liked Chris Pine's acting. Honestly, I think it was the best that he's done uh, because he did have to show like sentimental emotions sure, yeah. and not just like all rage or all intensity. Mm -hmm. He had to actually show that he could portray his inner feelings. Yeah. Um, I thought he did a good job. It's not a lot of it, but there are there is a moment when he's talking to her and he's pretty much pouring her heart, his heart out. Right. He was funny. Yes. Uh, of course, she was beautiful. Yeah. And... Um, the action is what I what I look for in an action movie. Right. So I'm gonna have to give it eight point five. Um, there are some things they could tighten up, but to me, this should have been their first movie. Yes, that's how I look at it. So eight point five, first movie, great. Yeah, the others should just trash. I don't know what they did with that. <sighs> I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> but eight point five out the gate, I'm definitely recommending this movie. So we like this movie. I thought it's a great stepping stone. To what DC should be doing. Do you guys think that maybe this is a <clears throat> a glance into what we're gonna get with Justice League? Ooh. Are they gonna like bring it home with the Justice League? Bring it all home, man. And we're gonna forgive all the other sins that they've given us. Ooh, DC. They're on thin ice as it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it better be the case. Absolutely. But let, let us know what you guys think. Also, did you guys like the animated movie of Wonder Woman? 
Let me know. I really liked it. I gotta check it out. Gotta check it out. Yeah. Uh, it's like Wonder Woman 2000. Or maybe it's Wonder Woman. Let me not lie. I don't know the name of it. But Wonder, Wonder Woman animated movie. All right. Um, also, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. If it's something you guys didn't like about us, let us know. Be a man. Be a man. Or a woman. I don't know. Like, what, <laughs> what, what do you say about that? Be a man? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I, I, I don't know. Maybe there are some women that don't like us. But... Be a woman and let us know, and we will reply back. I have no problems. At midnight, I'll reply back to you. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, let us know. Uh, all right, guys, I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Hold on. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace.